Hello Gemini and welcome to your new moon in Capricorn reading. So this is going to be quite a supportive new moon for new beginnings and is going to happen in your 8th house which is talking all about transformation. It's talking about deep-seated transformation and intimacy, right? So those deep um, conversations that really amazing intimate life, facing your fears and even releasing emotional baggage from a really um, deep level, uh, really looking at how you can change on the deeper levels, right? So I thought, <laughs> I think I um, I have went a bit too much there with um, with uh, with the layers, right? So thank you so much for being here, Gemini's. And let's look at the Light Seers Tarot deck uh, for your main theme. We're going to clarify it, and then we're going to draw an Angel of Abundance card, right? For more context. So let's see what the main theme for you Gemini's here this is a powerful powerful uh, new beginning so let's see how it's going to manifest temperance right okay so temperance is asking you to sit with the emotion temperance is asking you to really observe be an observer be um, a patient learner of your own um, of your own unconscious mind right this is talking about you really having the patience to allow things to unfold, to allow things to um, really reveal themselves themselves from the deep of your uh, deep deep uh, emotions from your psyche, right? And to actually distill them, trying to understand where where the triggers are coming from, try to understand your perspectives, try to understand your behaviors and um, and where uh, they're coming from, right? Um, how you are approaching emotions, but this is asking you to truly sit with the emotions and become really intimate with it, uh, becoming close to it, being an observer, a silent obse observer, and maybe um, try to alchemize those emotions into something that is very, very useful for you going forward. So let's see what the clarifying cards have for you, Gemini's. We have the Ten of Cups, exactly, emotions. Uh, we're talking about the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Cups, right? So all really, really mature energies, right? The Ten of Cups is talking about emotional fulfillment, right? So you're definitely looking for that emotional connection for, from, from that deep-seated um, intimacy that we're all searching for, right? And you're observing this. You're observing this about yourself. You're observing this in others. And you might be... In this amazing connection with someone that is truly, truly nurturing, that is truly down to earth, that maybe it's very attentive to the the um, the practical side of life, right? That it can be really there for you when you need them, that you can depend on them, that you can rely on them, but they're very practical and very realistic about it. And this is also showing you here as the King of Cups, like very open emotionally. And it might feel that you're truly, while you're working with your uh, with your intimacy issues, while you're working, when, when you are really connecting with those deeper roots uh, within your intimacy sector, then, it's where, then is where your heart chakra is opening up to emotion, to feel it, to deal with it, to observe it, to accept it and to integrate it, right? So this can definitely become something uh, like a turning point in your emotional relationship where you can truly open yourself up, become vulnerable and become emotionally mature enough to deal with how you are engaging in a relationship and how you are showing up to others. And I feel like you're going to be definitely more open to allow your heart to come through in a much more positive way, um, in a much more vulnerable way, without the fear of being rejected, without the fear of being um, judged. That's where intimacy is coming through, right? That's where the patience and the temperance is coming through to show you that you can sit with it and not judge it. You can understand the emotion. You can understand the connection. You can understand the triggers. And you can understand where you can re really transform this into something that is very supportive and very open and very honest, right? 
So let's see what the angels of abundance has for you here, um, Gemini. This is a very powerful reading. This is all about you focusing on opening that relationship up to vulnerability without having the fear of losing anything from yourself, right? Without um, actually having the fear of compromising. This is beautiful. Detox your friendships. Wow. See, this is really beautiful because it allows you the opportunity to show up honestly uh, and without the fear of rejection, being able to discern exactly and to observe and to discern exactly who is in it for the right uh, for the right reasons, right? Your abundance flow is being affected by the people with whom you're spending time. So be discerning about your associations and relationships. Choose to be with people who are inspiring, generous, and supportive, right? We're talking here about the Queen of Pentacles because now you know what you need emotionally. You know what you need from others uh, from an energetic point of view, for, for, from a, uh, an intimacy point of view, from a vulnerability point of view. So this is actually asking you to be an observer, be, be an observer, be very discerning, and then make the right decision from the heart space, being aware of the fact that you need to allow yourself to be surrounded by safe people, right? That people that are, are creating a safe space for you, Gemini's. I really hope this was uh, this was, was useful for you and I enjoyed it. So thank you so much, Gemini's. I hope to see you soon. Take care.